your attention for the next pitch from IC Senses from England. Hello everyone, my name is Katya and this is Akash and today we're going to represent Imperial College London from London, obviously, um, and we'll present to you our biosensor that we have been developing. So um, just to give you a bit of a background, obviously heart failure is the disease that is a global contributor to the global mortality rate, with approximately 20 million people dying of, H uh, of um, heart failure related diseases annually. And uh, to be able to detect this disease early on has shown uh, that it would allow us to use therapy to improve the life expectancy and lifestyle of patients to almost near normal. Therefore, it's very crucial to be able to detect um, the biomarker for it, which is nt pro -PMP, with ultra-sensitive device, and also to make it implementable in different countries so that worldwide we're able to tackle this issue. And we have been working on the biosensor that is implementing the use of magnetic microparticles. And the general workflow is this. So first we would use the blood sample and insert it into a flow cell that Akash has right here. It fits on the palm of your hand, so it's very small and it's also 3D printed and therefore can be used at home. Um, and then we would image one of the filters that is fit inside this flow cell in one of these slots. And uh, we would produce an image using a USB microscope, which is just 20 pounds of Amazon and can be uh, literally connected to your home laptop. And then we would use the algorithm that we have developed using a software image day that would quantify NT pro BNP. So how exactly does our sensor work? Uh, so this is the method of detection. Within the flow cell, we have three different layers. The first layer is the fiberglass membrane. This fiberglass membrane would contain antibodies that are functionalized with magnetic microparticles. The functionalization occurs using biotin avidin um, interaction, and uh, these antibodies are just covering the surface, but they're not attached to the surface. Therefore, when we add the blood sample onto it, the antigen that is in pro BMP would bind to the antibody and therefore form the antibody antigen complex. Then the earth magnet at the bottom of our flow cell would pull the magnetic microparticles down onto the next layer, which is nitrocellulose membrane with one micron sized pores. These pores are large enough for the unbound um, antibodies to pass through and be collected onto the second nitrocellulose membrane that has very small pores and therefore is used as a filter. All of the other uh, antibody antigen complexes would be mobilized onto nitrocellulose membrane with larger pores due to the fact that there is capture antibodies present on that surface. Uh, that would allow us to form the uh, kind of sandwich assay there and uh, we would have two antibodies uh, and they would surround one antigen. And therefore we can uh, remove this nitrocellulose membrane and then image it using the microscope. This allows the device to be reusable, and the only thing you need to purchase is just the flow cell to begin with, and then different membranes can be removed and visualized. Uh, so why does our uh, device work well, and why do we think it's good for the public? It's because it can be used anywhere. It's very low cost. Everything here is pretty much 3D printed, and also the camera it's very cheap and with the advances in technology we will soon be able to just image it using our phone. The software that we would, we would be using would be able to see the individual microparticles due to the properties of the, micro of the magnetic particles to scatter light and appear black. And uh, this software could be easily implemented on your phone and just used as an app. Uh, and also it's really important due to the fact that uh, a lot of the laboratory procedures here can be used anywhere in the world because the avidin biotin interaction is very easily done in any lab. Um, so, yeah, so this is our uh, sensor and we hope to be able to use it in marketing as well due to the fact that sandwich assays have been previously used already in, in sensors and that streamlines the FDA approval. And also due to the fact that this is quite an easy method of detection that can be used anywhere in the world. Thank you very much for your attention, and I will take questions if you have some. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you very much, guys. We're just on the stall over there if you have any further questions or want to know more about the device. Thanks.